Every year, two billion people take to the skies. That's more than the combined population of China, the USA and Russia. And they all have one thing in common. They're hungry and they need feeding. So, how do they do it? 5 a.m. Dubai Airport. The overnight from London Heathrow has just finished unloading its passengers. In less than an hour, this plane has to be clean, fully stocked and ready to fly. It's time to go to work. This is the A380 Super Jumbo, the largest airliner in the world today. It can carry 644 passengers. But this big bird causes some big problems for the ground crew. The catering door is over 8 metres up, so custom-built high-loader trucks have been designed with hydraulic pumps hidden in the chassis, capable of lifting the entire rear section the height of an airliner in just 12 seconds. Before they can start stocking up for the next flight, there's a mountain of washing up and waste to deal with. Enough to fill two of the 20-ton high-loader trucks. Within minutes, the truck's payload of aluminium catering carts is being unloaded at the largest airline kitchen in the world. The 21,000 square meter Emirates Flight Catering Facility. Over 150 flights unload 5,500 carts here every day. That means over 30 million trays full of washing up rolling through these doors every year. This kitchen is cleaning up the leftovers of a small city every 24 hours. First, the fully laden carts are stowed in stainless steel racks to begin their journey on an electrically powered monorail system. Half railway, half high-tech fairground ride, the monorail stretches for 2.55 kilometers across three floors, the largest of which is the size of 50 basketball courts. This vast, sophisticated network has to operate like clockwork to get the thousands of carts emptied, clean and ready in just 25 minutes. Every movement of every hangar is tracked and controlled from a central computerized monitoring room. From this nerve center, the carts can be directed, just like trains on a railroad, to different destinations for storage, repair or reuse. All at the press of a button. First stop is the ware wash area. To handle this industrial scale mess, this part of the kitchen has to be more factory than restaurant. A line of workers empty all the carts by hand, packing the rubbish filled trays one by one onto 160 meters of conveyor belts, which drag them away to their fates. This tsunami of washing up rolls into three 17 meter long industrial washing machines dirty and leaves sparkling clean just six minutes later. Between them, these machines can handle 1.5 million items every day. That's 15,000 loads for a full-size domestic dishwasher. On the other side, the belts roll on to the colossal storage facility, where the airline keeps enough dishes to serve the entire population of Las Vegas for lunch and dinner. Pottery in motion. While the dishes are done, the monorail brings the empty carts up two levels to the kitchens and food assembly area. At 6 a.m., a hot spicy curry might be hard to take, but in a facility that caters to flights across every time zone, breakfast, lunch and dinner are all served round the clock. With more than 100 flights leaving every day, this building alone has to produce over 20 million meals every year, so there's no time to stop. Everything is hand prepared by qualified chefs. It's restaurant food cooked on an industrial scale. This kitchen gets through 2.2 million eggs and 50 tons of lobster meat per year. Menus are planned according to the destination of each flight. From curries for Karachi to satays for Singapore, every meal is crafted by a team of chefs drawn from 47 nations and trained in the cuisine of 26 different countries.
everything that comes out of the kitchens is cooked, then taken by rolling conveyors through blast chillers. They flood the dishes with super chilled air, which absorbs the heat left in the food, preventing bacterial growth. From the belts, the food moves onto a massive battery of 47 giant fridges, where it's kept at a safe temperature of 3 degrees Celsius until it's ready to be assembled. Of course, a meal isn't proper airline food until it's on a plastic tray with a bread roll, cheese and crackers. The third floor of this vast building is where the magic happens. In an assembly area the size of two football pitches, 145 women work in lines putting the meals together. If these ladies so much as stop for a moment, some unlucky passenger is going to miss out on butter or jam. It can take 30 of these carts packed with food to feed the passengers on an A380 for just one meal. An hour after landing, flight EK201 is being loaded, ready for takeoff to New York. These super long-range aircraft can fly for up to 18 hours without refueling. That means a load of 122 carts for a single flight. With more than 150 flights a day, getting through 30 million meals a year, this record-breaking facility is going to have to keep on cooking.